Hi, Dr. Emron here with Spring Cure. Today I want to share with you something that a good friend of mine who is also a weight loss surgeon, just like me, said to me the other day when we were, they were, he was giving a presentation on weight loss and he mentioned this idea that I've mentioned before, but I just want to kind of put it down on, in a visual way for you to really see this so that you kind of understand this idea, okay? So we're talking about being good when we're, when we're trying to get our nutrition in line, when we're trying to do all the things we need to to lose weight, and we talk about being bad. Oh, I ate something I shouldn't have eaten, I ate too much, and so forth, I didn't exercise, all right? So when we, we talk about that balance, a lot of people think it's okay if I'm good most of the time. But let's just look at how those numbers pan out, okay? Because when we think about good and bad, we think as long as the balance is towards the good, if I'm 60% good, I'm okay. And 40%, oh well, you know, I'm still on the good side. But let's just use an extreme example. Let's say we're good 99% of the time. All right, and we're bad, we eat more than we should, we eat the wrong things 1% of the time, okay? What does that mean, okay? It means that we're doing pretty good, right? Yeah, overall, it means we're doing pretty good. This is where having days where we eat less than what we're supposed to eat is probably a good idea. This is where days where we exercise a little bit more is probably a good idea because it makes up for that, okay? But what happens if we have a sedentary lifestyle and we're just barely eating what we should or we're just getting the calories that we should. What does that 1% turn into? Well, let's say you're eating a 1500 or 200 calorie diet, all right? Or 2000 calorie, excuse me, diet. So 1500 to 2000 calorie diet, all right? That turns into 15 to 20 calories extra per day. Now that doesn't sound like much, right? 15 to 20 calories, that doesn't sound like much, all right? Until we start putting this into context, all right? What happens when we take those 15 to 20 extra calories per day? Well, that could turn into about two and a half pounds per year. If you do the math, you multiply it out, it can lead up to almost two to two and a half pounds per year, that 15 to 20 calories. But what is 15 to 20 calories, okay? Because most people don't really, don't really think about that. All right, so what is 15 to 20 calories? How about this? One potato chip. Not very much, right? A third of a chocolate chip cookie. All right, so it doesn't take very much to actually get those 15 to 20 extra calories. In fact, an extra tablespoon of, you know, of yogurt could probably put you at that 15 to 20. The point is, when we're thinking about eating, we should be eating only when we feel hungry, and then we should stop. A lot of times people end up eating because they're bored, there are things available, other people are eating, um, they have a craving for something that they can't fill with the foods, but they keep eating them anyway. And these are all things that lead us to taking those extra calories. And remember, that was assuming we were 99% of the time doing good. Now, how many of us truly do good 99% of the time? I know I don't. In fact, I know I have one cheat day a week because I understand these numbers and I make sure that on my cheat day, I get to have all those things that I enjoy, all those things that I love, and at the same time, I still keep it within reason so I don't go excessive, and the rest of the days, I know that I'm hitting my targets. So keep that in mind. You don't have to be perfect, but you do have to be aware of where the numbers are gonna lead you. Thanks, hope that helped, and I'll see you at the next video.